Have you been considering making an attempt at the B2B Solution Architect certification? This video is the first part of a two-part series to help you prepare for your exam. Welcome to 100 Days of Trailhead, where the tech community comes to learn Salesforce, learn tech, get inspired, and invest in ourselves. We are your trail guides, here to support you on your learning journey. We release videos weekly. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a video. In the description below, you can find links for everything we mention in this video, as well as books and resources we found useful. Visit our blog, 100daysoftrailhead.com, for other helpful Salesforce and tech content. Understanding how to prepare for a particular exam is half the battle in passing that exam. Taylor Grimes is walking you through tips to help you prepare for your B2B Solution Architect exam and understand the language of the exam. Taylor is a Salesforce employee with the Architect Success Team. She helps architects to develop project-ready skills to drive customer value with resources spanning data strategy and multi-cloud use case implementation guidance. My name is Taylor Grimes and I am a program manager for the B2B Solution Architect program. You may have seen us out there. Uh, we are also known as the Architect Success Team. And today's conversation is going to be a two-part series. The first part is we're going to get an overview of the career path and where you can go to get head start on enablement and how to get ready to take the exam. When you look at the content that's available, pretty much you can find it within the Trailhead community. So you could find some of the exam data, you can get the prereqs, and we'll go over the prereqs in a second, but basically the prereq is an application architect, and I'll talk about a little bit about what that means. You'll see some study and prepare trail hike credentials, and we'll actually show some of these uh, trail mixes and why they're critical. You know, and then you can join the community and, of course, schedule your cert. So what I like about this page, it's a little bit of a one-stop shop for all things B2B Solution Architect certification. So I urge everybody, when you get a chance, please visit here. If there's any kind of like one key call to action, everything's kind of here. This certification is looking for an architect who's able to design sophisticated B2B solutions that are multi-cloud, powered by the Salesforce platform, and really drive those personalized frictionless customer experiences. With that being said, we have four prerequisites. These prerequisites you might recognize as the same ones for application architect. So if you're already an application architect, you're ready to take the exam. Otherwise, you will need to pass these exams in order to register on Web Assessor to take the test. So now that we understand the necessary prereqs, let's talk about a learning journey available on Trailhead. We've got modules and badges that will help you prepare for the exam, and then additional coursework that in addition to the Trailhead modules, we'll talk about in further detail today. So we do recommend going through the trail mix and studying the trail that is preparing you for the exam. But let's take a look at those curriculums. So one of the things that we suggest is regardless if you're a customer, employee, partner, you've been doing it for a long time, is that we suggest you really review and look through at least the base level of what Taylor recommends today. Because if you don't, you're going to have a much, much harder time. I mean, Taylor, you're certified, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, how much did you lean on the courses to help you out? There were knowledge checks throughout the courses, so that's a unique additional way to test your knowledge and make sure that a key concept was grasped. And so just overlaying some of the courses that are foundational here, so if we look at the data strategy courses at the very bottom, that is going to give you the frame of reference for the words used to describe use cases. And then from an architect perspective, what matters? And so this is going to get you in the right frame of reference for a lot of the solution architect design questions. And those strategies just really evolve as you head up the mountain. And so I think what is unique about preparing for this exam is that you, know, you might not need to touch base on certain capabilities because you've implemented it. It's very top of mind. But there are products in the customer 360 suite as Salesforce advances capabilities that you, know, you may not know what is the best approach as the platform advances. So if you haven't done field service projects or they're not top of mind, 
Um, definitely look at that. We have a lot of key courses here that touch base on product pricing, orders, transactional data. And as you go up the mountain, the considerations that architects have and design patterns that come across, they're really covered in great detail from a use case perspective in every single course. Okay. So one of the things you may be asking is like, all right, well, where is it? Where's all these fantastic things you're talking about? So as we saw, there's two trail mixes, right? Prepare for the uh, Salesforce B2B Solution Architect credential and study for the B2B Solution Architect certification exam. Now, if you were to go to our friend here, sforce.co slash B2B Solution Architect, you can click here and you can find prepare for, I don't remember which one I put in. The arrow was for prepare. Prepare for the credential. And you can see both trail mixes, right? Very comprehensive. You get the exam guide. It's broken down by the, uh, by the different objectives. It's actually what we'll do as well today. You know, you'll see some of the core recommendations. As program owners, we also made some recommendations. So some of them lean in, some of them lean out. But you'll see a lot of the same. You'll see some different. But then towards the very end, you'll see a lot of the base level modules. Our friend, Sforce, even I completed some of them. But then at the very end, you will find a resource called Partner Learning Camp B2B Solution Architect Courses. So when I click on that, all of a sudden, this little fancy GIF I have here in a presentation is now live in front of you. Sure, it's towards the end, but it's a lot of content. That's awesome, Shelby. Thanks for showing us those resources. Next, we're gonna check out the exam blueprint by objective so that everyone knows what to expect when sitting for the test. So the test itself has pretty standard blueprint facts. There are 60 questions that you'll be tested on with four non-scored items. 58% is our passing score and you'll have 120 minutes to take the test. It's a $400 exam registration fee, and we do recommend, again, four years experience. The exam blueprint sections include discovery and customer success, data governance and integration, design, delivery, and operationalizing the solution. In our next session, we will go into each section of the exam and talk about those courses that we previewed earlier. Uh, from those resources on Trailhead. So we will go over courses and recommended trail mixes that you can take so that you're properly enabled and ready to pass the exam. We do have a program resource page that covers our course curriculums, videos, and past recordings that I'd like to share for everyone. You don't need to be a partner to access these resources but it does have a compilation of the content shared today. If you'd like to join us for office hours, you'll also have a registration link so that you can connect with us. And our office hours and learning labs are open to both partners and customers. So we'd love to hear from you and get feedback. Thanks for following along today and I hope to hear from you soon please tag us on social, LinkedIn, Trailblazer community, or partner community, and let us know if you uh, plan to take the test and pass. We'll talk soon. Thanks. If you found this content helpful, we would really appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and like this video. It really helps us a lot. And with that, we're at the end. What did you find most helpful from this video? Are you planning on taking your B2B Solution Architect exam? Comment below. We would love to hear what video topics you want us to cover in future videos in the comments as well. If you've made it to this point, we want to take an opportunity to say thank you. Since you've stayed with us, here's a bonus. Discover how to engage with the B2B architect journey and career path. Thank you for spending time with us. Please like and subscribe to our channel because we share weekly content to support your tech and Salesforce learning journey. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a new video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. Connect with us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and on 100daysoftrailhead.com, all of which are listed below. Thank you for learning with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.